I'm tired now. Now I am tired. Okay, okay, all right, I'm getting up, I'm getting up. <laughs> Canine cologne. Oh, where the hell am I? Oof. That's right, I remember the wine. Oh, hey everyone, welcome to Grunge Gourmet. That's right. I stayed the night at a friend's house last night and um, well, he went to work. I'm gonna look for something to make in his kitchen. I'm gonna bring this with me. All right, so yeah, we're at my friend's uh, house. There's gotta be something here to make. Let's check it out. I think I want something that's like a little bit on the hangover cure right now. I'm thinking carbs, carbs, some pasta. What the hell's he got Vaseline in his refrigerator for? I'm gonna try that. What do we got in here? Oh, we got cheese. Pecorino. Kale. Ooh, I'm getting ideas. Tomatoes, lemon, garlic. Let's see if he's got any pasta. I think there's spaghetti in this cabinet. Yeah, we got a bucatini. All right, got everything we need right here. Let's get a pot, put some water in here. Okay, we got our water. Turn the flame on. We need a cutting board. Ah. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this super green bucatini in reference to a Jamie Oliver recipe. So Jamie Oliver, this is gonna be my hangover food. Let's get a knife and uh, we're gonna take, I don't know, maybe that much. I'll save some for my friend when he gets home. I'm a nice guy. He might wanna eat. All right, so taking the leaves and I'm gonna take the leaf off the stem. It's gonna be a healthy start. So just a rough chop. Put that to the side. All right, got some garlic. I'm gonna take three cloves. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to remove the peel, keep it intact. Some garlic here, garlic, garlic, and clean up this mess, or he'll never let me crash on his couch again. While that water's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and grate up this pecorino. They tell me I'm up to no good. We don't have any nuts, or does he have nuts? Maybe he's got some nuts. I know he's got nuts. You know what I mean. I'm gonna say that's enough. Now I'm gonna look for some nuts. Got some walnuts. Water's come to a boil. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this garlic and this kale and I'm gonna blanch it. Just wanna get that soft. While that's still boiling, I'm gonna take this lemon and zest it. Lemon zest is awesome. Always save your lemon peels because this is extra ingredients. It's free. I'm really gonna brighten up this dish. All right, check it on our kale and garlic. And it is looking good. I'm gonna let that strain a little bit and then I'm gonna go into this blender. All right, so take all this kale, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm really hung over today. This isn't like a joke. Okay, take the kale and the garlic, drain it and then go in here. All right, all the kale and garlic is in here. Now I'm gonna add lemon zest and cheese and nuts. Back in. Ooh, that is hurting my head right now. Okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. I think it's done. It smells good. Hmm, I'm gonna salt the water. It should taste like the ocean. One pot wonder. Bucatini. All the real men use bucatini because it's thick and girthy. Get it all in there. I'm gonna go ahead and slice some tomatoes. Just gonna cut them in half. And that's good right there. All right, check it on the pasta. Almost there, a couple more minutes. This I'm gonna use to save some of the pasta water. Might as well just scoop some right now. And we get some of that Vaseline. Some butter. That should be good. Check it on the pasta. I'm just done. I got a colander right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and strain this. I already reserved some pasta water. We're good. This pot's going back on here. Turn the heat back on. Take some butter. A little bit of olive oil. Go in some pasta water. And now our kale pesto. It smells terrific. Bucatini in here. Pop. Okay, go ahead and mix. Look at that. Nice and vibrant. That is some sexy color right there. Get 
get a ball. And I'm going right into the bowl. That looks gorgeous. Wow. That looks so good. Okay, we got uh, more Pecorino. Gotta put some more Pecorino on there. And uh, yeah, you know what? Some lemon zest still on here. That's cool. Of course, I'm getting more on the counter than I'm actually getting in the bowl. That's what a hangover will do. Finish it off with some fresh tomatoes. And here we have it. A kale pesto bucatini on the fly. Let's give this a taste. Ooh, it's a little hot. But I am a professional. Oh, boy. Whoa. That was so good. All right, so there you go. Super easy. You can make it when you're hungover. Kale pesto bucatini, which is stuff that we found in the refrigerator. Mm. I'm in love with that. That's gonna be my new go-to pasta from now on. Your turn to try it. When you do, you hashtag Grunge Gourmet. Give us your feedback. Until then, I'm going back on the couch. Cheers.